hello custom supremacy my name is sean ramirez or brown hammer and i'm going to be auditioning for your recruitment challenge or your your uh yeah recruitment challenge video um so i have just kind of a few topics that i really want to like talk about while i play and you know at least try and hit a few clips um <laughs> what i want to be in this clan is i want to be like a, just an, like an average commentator but I want to also bring a different view on a, like on a topic that I I don't think a lot of big clans really realize what it means to have a good like um, player to fan connection. So if if like Optic or FaZe were to realize that they have well I know that they know this but they have their very they have a very large amount of supporters on both sides and um you know, there's a lot of people who have a lot of reasons as to why each one's the best. And there are a few, like, phase members and a few Optic members who do things with their fans. But I think that they do it kind of, like, in a style where the main fo- like they're, like, they're still the main focus. I want to put the fans as the main focus. Like, I want them to be a part of something. I want them- I want it to be, like, a, like a memorable experience. The way I the way I was thinking was um, if we do like a or if I or if you know a different clan member were to do like a top ten or a top five plays video, then people on that video would comment for like a like a certain clip or something that they like the most, and then a few clan members would take that comment or would take that class that the person used in the clip or whatever they hit. And we would all go for either that shot or we would go for those clip like a better clip than what they hit. Or we could take a, like a six man of clan members and a few fan members, fan members, wow, and a few fans and put them all in the same, like in a custom game on, um, on like a clan versus fans type of thing. And we could all just go at it with the same weapons, trying to see who can get the most kills. Like, see who can do the best with this gun and see whether the clan or the fans will win. It'd be, like, I think it would be really, really competitive, especially with the fans, just because I know that there are a ton of tryhards in this game. So, I think it'd be really cool if we, um, if we, like, if we incorporate fans like that. Because if we give them a say on what class to choose, then they feel more, like, they feel like they have a bigger impact on this. Especially if they have, like, a say for it and... You know, we choose, like, let's say someone chose a very custom class that they like, and we all go for that class. That, like, that gives them some sort of empowerment. Like, they actually have a sense that they are a part of this. And they really are, because obviously you can't really be a good clan or a big YouTuber without having, you know, people to watch you or viewers, basically. So they should have a bigger say in things. That's what I think, at least. Um, I also think that I could bring a good I also do my own editing like <laughs> I'm trying to think of what to say now um, how I got into gaming was I really have been a gamer most of my entire life As growing up I saw my uh, my older siblings play modern warfare 2 and they were I mean honestly back then they were pretty bad um, but I, I was really, really like into the fact that there were, that they were playing against other people that they couldn't like that that it, people that they didn't even know. And oh, I have a stuttering issue. Might as well call me Phase Adapt. Um. But yeah, I had like a really good sense of, like, like I was really into the fact that they just, they didn't know their enemies, so it was all completely different every time that they played. No one knows someone else's play style unless you've played with them before. And like that just, that really got me into gaming. And I remember one match particularly where my older brother was playing a um, team death match on Modern Warfare 2 and he got something like 18 kills and like 13 death. It was something like that. And um, I told him, I was like, I bet I could do better than you. And I was only, you know, like five or six back then. Why can't this guy die, dude? Just die, man. Are you serious? No scope. No scope. Oh my god. Why did I just do that? Oh my gosh. Why am I getting so flat? Um. Anyways. 
it, well, like, I saw the fact that he did pretty good, and I was like, hey, I bet I could do better than you. And I kind of regretted saying that because I didn't think that I could. Like, I personally had no, like, I had no skills in that game. I didn't think that I could actually do better than him. And whenever I started playing, I realized that I really could if I tried hard enough. <laughs> so I was a big tryhard, basically, and I camped, and I got, like, 20 kills, and I had a few less deaths than he did. And I, was, I told him, I was like, I'm going to hang this over your head forever. And I did, but um, it was more the fact that I, like, I actually just kind of set a goal. And that I set a goal that I thought was impossible, and I did it. Like, that, thinking about that later on, like, later on in life, after that, thinking about it really pushed me to do things even more. Because whenever my, like, five or six-year-old self didn't think I could beat my older brother, I did. And that kind of really inspired me to try different things, look at things at a different angle, and, like, think of how I could do it. Because whenever I sat there and started trying to play, I was like, um, okay. I mean, there's always people in this spot, so I could just go sit here and kill them all the time. And that's really what I did, and I, it was pretty bad. But it was a trashy play, but it worked, so. Um, and I basically took that mindset and just kind of kept it with me ever since. I was like, well, if this is how something's supposed to be done, then I could probably change it up a little bit and do it this way. And, like, that's helped me with more things than I can even think of. But, um, the way that I want to kind of incorporate that into this clan is by doing the better fan connection base. Where we have, we have more of, like, we give them more of a memory instead of an experience. And I think that might, that would definitely grow... Wow, I'm doing oh, I'm doing so bad. Um, that would definitely grow, um, just like any channel a lot, just because of how how much empowerment it gives the fans. So I think that would be something really neat to bring, and I haven't seen it anywhere. I mean, I've seen like uh, clans versus subscribers, like Phase Clan. I think Phase Blaziken he has um, a series on the Phase Clan like main channel where he does trick shotting with subscribers. And they go for, like, insane shots on each other. And I I was like, well, that's kind of cool. But then again, that's only, like, two or three people. And they all have to go for, well, not the same shot, but they all have to go for shots. And all, obviously it's fun or else people wouldn't be joining that. But um, I just thought that that was really cool how they sat there and interacted with just a few fans. And the fans, like, fans in lobbies. Whenever you see, whenever you see like, a video where it says, like, craziest fan ever and, like, the person in the lobby is like, oh my god, oh my god, it's him, oh my god, it's him. Like, that is, that, 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 that's a priceless moment right there. Like, nothing can feel better than being recognized by someone you don't even know. Like, I, I, like, that's really cool. And the best way to, I think the best way to grow is definitely to have a deeper connection with them. And I, I don't mean, like, be a personal therapist, but I mean, like, like, just get to know them a little bit more. Like, talk to them about, like, how they started gaming and what they... Um, what they want to do, like, maybe, like, even just start talking about, like, a career. Like, what do they want to do when they grow up? Or what ha what do they do? Just get to know them more than just a gamer tag. And I feel like that, that means something more to them than just playing a game with, a, uh, like, a YouTuber would. Um, now, my YouTube video, or my YouTube channel does have a decent amount of subscribers it's got a really good amount of subscribers for what i for what i do i mean it's actually awesome and i do have a few series going on there or i have a, i have two series that i actually just started in the past few days um i do have a custom or a jtag ps3 that i do mod menu reviews on which i'm not sure if any of you have ever seen i don't i or any of you i don't even know how many people are watching this i'm not sure if you guys have seen but like it's basically where I use my J my I'm banned on that PS3 so I can't play online or anything but it's where I use that JTAG to a different advantage and I take a mod menu well, how did that miss both of them I take a mod menu and I do a review of it I like I'll find like um a bigger mod menu and I'll go through all the options like what causes it to crash what um what you can do that doesn't like just it's just a review. It's really not that hard to explain. I'm going way too in depth with it, but um, I do that most of the times. 
And then there are times, uh, there's a new series that I started where I do aimbot trickshotting with some menus. The very first episode just went up like four or five days ago, and it did pretty well. It's doing really good, actually, for that type of video. And, um, yeah, you know, it's just going to be really... My real, like, goal for this is to just become a part of something that actually grows and become bigger. So... Thank you guys for considering, I guess, and um, uh, good luck to everyone else who's trying this. So, uh, yeah. Good day.